Hello fellow murderers, today is Saturday, March 2nd, 2024, and it's a great day to solve a murder. Today we have deductive logico in the case of the Taurus and the Caboose. We have four, or sorry, six four by four grids with suspects and weapons, suspects and locations, suspects and motives, locations and motives, weapons and motives, and weapons and locations. Our suspects today are Baron Maroon, Earl Grey, Judge Pine, and Dean Glaucus. And for our evidence today, we've got our clues and evidence list here. You'll notice we don't have a red murder clue here, so that means, yes, we have statements, and we'll be going through all of these statements. We will know that one of these is a lie and the others must be true. So um, today's a longer puzzle, so I'm going to kind of go quickly. If you need help with other things or want to learn more about the game, I would highly recommend checking out some of the earlier puzzles for this week, specifically Monday and Tuesday. Those are very uh, nice, easy puzzles that you can get started with. So let's jump right in. Whoever wanted to rob the victim was a Scorpio. So let's look for our Scorpio. We do have Bear and Maroon, but we need to make sure there aren't other Scorpios. I'm just going to flip through. We do not have other Scorpios. So Bear and Maroon wanted to rob the victim. All right, checking that off. The person with a bottle of wine did not want to eliminate a spy. This isn't super informative. We just know that these do, do not intersect here, um, but hopefully we'll be able to find out more from that in the future. This fingerprint was found on the observation deck. That looks like Earl Grey. So let's say Earl Grey, location, observation deck, yep. And the messenger from the Lodge of Faith gave Logico a note that read the person who wanted to escape blackmail was in the sleeping car. So we know that the sleeping car here and the motive escape blackmail intersect. Also confession time, I have recorded this now twice. Uh, I had an issue with my audio. I sounded very much like a chipmunk and it just was not, <laughs> not the vibe I was going for. So that's contributing to me going even faster. Um, it did take me a second to get sleeping car. Um, the person in the caboose was born on April 24th. So let's go ahead and check this. All right, we see April 24th, that would be Taurus. So let's flip through. We know it's not Baron Maroon. It's not Earl Grey. Could be Judge Pine. And since Dean Glaucus is a Virgo, yes, it is Judge Pine. So Judge Pine was in the caboose. Okay. A deduction college diploma was seen outdoors. So we have the deduction college diploma here. And for our locations, we have outdoors. Oops, meant to flip through. Indoors, outdoors, indoors. So that means that the, deduc the deduction diploma had to have been either in the observation deck or the roof. So I'll mark that there. Dean Glaucus had an antique clock. So Dean Glaucus had an antique clock. Let's see, there we go. Okay, and then this clue is a little tricky because it is really just telling us one thing. It kind of sounds like it's telling us a lot of things, but um, this just means that Dean Glaucus was the same height as somebody who did not bring a brick of coal. So we need to find the person the same height as Dean Glaucus. So let's look at Dean Glaucus. Glau Dean Glaucus is height 5'6". Got 6'2", 5'9", 5'6". So it looks like these two are the same height. So Judge Pine is the person we're talking about here. So really, again, all this is saying is that Judge Pine did not bring a brick of coal. Kind of a long walk for a ham sandwich, as one of my friends likes to say. Put that down there. Okay. So we don't seem to have a ton, but let's just kind of look through and see if we have more than we realize. So let's see, we know, okay, we know that this is here. Let's see, we know that the diploma has to be outside. So we know then that Dean, er, sorry, Judge Pine cannot have the diploma because we know that Judge Pine is inside. This is outside and let's see, these two, well, we know that one of these two must have the diploma, and it is possible that Baron Maroon is outside on the roof. So I'm gonna put question marks here, 
And then let's see. Oh, we do have Judge Pine has the bottle of wine. So that also means Judge Pine's motive was not to eliminate a spy. All right. And let's see, do we have anything else? Let's just kind of flip through one more time. Um, we don't know Judge Pine's motive yet. person who wanted to escape blackmail was in the sleeping car. Let's see. Oh, this is actually, this is going to help us. So we know that if they want to escape blackmail, they're in the sleeping car. We know that um, Baron Maroon's motive was to rob the victim. So they're not in the sleeping car, which means Baron Maroon was on the roof, which means that Dean Glaucus was in the sleeping car. All right, great. And because we know that Dean Glaucus was in the sleeping car, we know that their motive was to escape blackmail. Let's see. Okay. Okay, so there's our additional information there and here. Okay. So this actually opens up a lot. Now we know Judge Pine's motive as well, just because it forces this. So let's see, okay, so Judge Pine, rage with jealousy, and in the caboose with the wine. Okay, so let's see what else we have, if anything. Okay, this, the, the motive in the observation deck is silence a witness or eliminate a spy. Okay. Okay, so that leaves these two motives. We know we've got Judge Pine here, Rage with Jealousy, and Roof, Rob. Okay, so that's that. And yeah, we don't yet know the weapons for these two, and these are the motives for these two. Do we have the locations? We might be able to see more with the locations. So let's see, we've got roof. We don't know which weapon. It could be either of these. Um, I think that's all we have for now. So, all right, that gives us the whole grid here, or sorry, the, the, the full clues and evidence um, piece here. So moving on to the statements. Um, Let's go ahead and look through. A brick of coal was on the roof. So that could be true because we know that Baron Maroon could have had the brick of coal, so that's possible. Judge Pine was in the caboose. This is a helpful one. We know this is absolutely true because we've seen this. So this means this has to be true. So the difference between these two, this could be true. It could also be false. Um, this has to be true. So we know this is not the killer. Earl Grey is not the killer today. Um, Dean Glaucus, a deduction college diploma was not in the caboose. This is true. And let's see. We also know that this, this has to be true. Um, again, different from Judge Pine's statement, which could be true. Um, if we did the reverse of this, so a, college, a deduction college diploma was in the caboose, that wouldn't work because we know that the deduction college diploma was outside and the caboose is an indoor location. So these two both must be true. All right. So then finally, an antique clock was not on the roof. Okay, we know this must also be true because we already know the location of the antique clock um, and that was in the sleeping car. So we know this must also be true, which means that this must be the lie. And that's going to give us our solve, um, both in terms of who the murderer is, but also the grid. So I'm going to start there. And again, just to kind of go through this one more time, because I know these can be tricky. Um, we know this might be true, right? So we kind of held this one as like, it could be the case. This must be true. We cannot force this to be false, so this cannot be the lie. This must be true. We cannot force this to be false, so this must be true as well. And this must be true. We cannot force this to be false, given what we already know about the location of the antique clock, which means this is the only one that could be compelled to be a lie out of the four. 
So, let's see. Okay, a brick of coal was on the roof. So let's now say a brick of coal, which would be, this is the roof. Okay, the brick of coal was not on the roof. So we'll put an X under roof, which means it was at the observation deck. So that's gonna give us our solve here for the grid. And of course, then also we know Judge Pine is our murderer. Again, we've had a lot of Judge Pine stuff going on lately, but don't let that get into your head. All right, the roof. And that is where the diploma is. So Earl Grey had the brick of coal. And Earl Grey's motive, silence a witness and robbing a victim. So there's our grid all filled out, looking pretty. And let's go ahead and take what we know. So this was the lie, which means Judge Pine was the murderer. So we have Judge Pine, bottle of wine, caboose, and rage with jealousy. So let's go ahead, make our accusation. Caboose. We'll make our accusation. And we got it. Awesome. Thanks so much for playing along, everyone. I hope this was a helpful walkthrough, and we'll see you tomorrow.